we were shooting that that day and uh, I'm like sitting on set and Liev was like, red pen, blue pen, black pen, what pen? And props is, and everyone's hanging by and we're like, oh, uh, well, maybe red pens too, maybe this. And then I realized Ben Bradley Jr., the real one, was on set like sitting there. And I was like, Ben, red pen? Or and he's like, red pen. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> like everyone was like, got it, you know. <laughs> kid from a poor family and when a priest pays attention to you it's a big deal how do you say no to god spotlight this is the tip line you think he's got something i want to keep digging we need to focus on the institution show me that it came from the top down i think we so rarely see a film that shows us the process by which something happens you know you really dig into the minutia and the the, de the details here and at, at what point when you were researching the story, did you find that you were going to take such a, this kind of rigorous and indeed, you know, journalistic approach? You know, I think ultimately, whether we were completely conscious of it or not, um, we were taking our inspiration from the work of the reporters and trying to approach this, and that not just with the writing, but with, you could see it certainly in the acting and how these guys approached it and the entire creative team. Um, how we shot the film and how we designed the film. Um, we were trying to get as close as we could to the real thing. And um, look, ultimately we're still trying to entertain. So there's that, there's that risk that we're running when we're playing that game. But um, I don't know, I just felt, that I, in my heart, I felt like the material was rich enough and the storylines were complex enough uh, that we could lean into them. John, for you meeting with Ben Bradley Jr. and kind of, you know, what was that whole process like? And was there a lot of the here you are and here's the person you'll be playing and you know you 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 start out kind of wondering you know watching someone and looking at how they are physically and and how they speak and what their sort of rhythms are and 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 then it becomes it sort of transcends that and becomes how do i accurately as accurately as possible depict the function this person had in the telling of this story and all the other actors were basically doing the same thing it was like chip a piece off here or, or change a line there because, you know, just to, just to serve the story and just as, as, as clearly and as vividly tell the story and all, the, all of us as actors were, I think, concerned with the function that, the, that, that our alter ego, if you will, had in telling the story. Once we committed to the real, to the reporters and to the idea of approaching this as an ensemble, uh, we kind of became more and more entrenched in the idea of authenticity. You know, look, every film you gamble. Some you hit, some you don't. But that was probably our big gamble with this. Like, let's commit to that. Let's make a movie that a journalist will see and say, that's how we do it. That's what, that's what our lives are like. That's what our work life is like. And then uh, if, if we successfully accomplish that, uh, perhaps we'll, we'll uh, you know, grab the greater audience with it. Uh, when, he, when he says at the end of the movie, I'm poorly made, that that's why it's so important to him that his rectangles have rounded edges, that the computer be able to say hello, that e everything be friendly. Um, and that's why if you get in between him and trying to do these things, he, he, he doesn't have any patience.